Hey, Elder Geek Gamer here, and uh, you may say, what the heck? Why do I have boxing gloves and a Nintendo Switch and an Xbox Series X controller on my desktop? It's because I wanted to talk to you today about um, something about me. And in 2017, I was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. Some of you may know what it is, some of you may not know what it is. Uh, Michael J. Fox has had it for many years and is really, uh, he's, he's a real trooper. He's a, quite an inspiration. Uh, Jimmy Choi on um, American Ninja Warriors, which I love to watch, uh, has Parkinson's disease, yet he still, he still tries to hit that course every year and does a pretty good job. And um, for me in 2017, um, they confirmed that I had it. For years before that, I knew something was wrong. I was, uh, would ride my motorcycle and bring it home and try to do some work on it. And when I tried to pick up the screwdriver to do something the intricate, my hand would shake and I couldn't get it to the screw. So my wife would say, why are you shaking so much? I said, I don't know. Um, that's just one of the first signs is you start to have tremor. And so for me as a gamer, tremor gets in the way, but it's a challenge. It's not insurmountable. And for me, um, getting diagnosed with Parkinson's has actually been a good thing, if you can look at it that way. Uh, it's helped me kick myself into gear and get uh, on with things that I wanted to get on with for some time. Uh, I've been wanting to start this YouTube channel for a long time. I've been collecting games for forever, uh, back since Pong. So for me, uh, gaming has been a big part of my life, and I'm really fortunate to have a small group of friends that I game with uh, quite a bit. I play a lot of Destiny, it's my go-to game, but with the new game consoles out, um, I'm expanding into a lot of different areas. I love single player games, I love what's on the PS5, and I love what's on the Xbox Series X, but I love what's on the PS2, and the Dreamcast, and the Saturn, and uh, all the um, mini retro systems that have come out over the last year or two are really awesome. So I have uh, lots of things in my room uh, to play with, as far as games go, but sometimes Parkinson's gets in the way, and i uh, tell you a few ways that it does. Uh, so I'm, of course I'm holding my hands down here. Why am I doing that? Because this one likes to do this. And what's interesting about this tremor, there's two uh, types of tremor. There's essential tremor and there's this type of tremor. Now my type of tremor I think is the good type because as soon as I glob onto this little puppy, where'd the tremor go? Well it's still in my thumbs a little bit, but you notice the difference? It's as soon as you put your muscle and some tension into that muscle, that tremor minimizes. So this controller's good, but this Xbox Series, um, the Xbox Pro Controller 2, Series 2, is even better. Why is it better? It's heavier. I can actually adjust the tension and feedback for how hard it is to push these. And to make it a little bit harder to push, it actually helps reduce the tremor uh, being active. The other thing is, is, over time, my left hand starts to tense up. It's a real bummer, because when you're playing Destiny, you go to jump, and you just hose yourself because your left trigger is partially pulled in, and you didn't realize it. So you can actually set this so that it doesn't engage until a certain um, point in being depressed. So that's really awesome for me. It helps um, me combat this little challenge I have with the tremor. So that's uh, one of the things that you can do. I found uh, changing these little dinky things, which drive me crazy. Um, I mean, they're great, but first of all, I have tremor. Second of all, you know, I'm a big guy and my hands are fairly decently sized. But if you switch out to something like these, it makes a big difference because suddenly I've got more to grip onto and uh, it works a lot better for me to be able to play my Switch. So just a couple things there. So let me tell you a little bit more about Parkinson's. Um, and why do I have the boxing gloves up here? Well, shortly after I found out about this, which was towards the end of 2017, I found out there was a program called um, um, Rock Steady Boxing. And Rock Steady Boxing was designed specifically for people with Parkinson's disease. Uh, Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative disease, and there is no cure for it. Over time, it gets worse, and uh, there's nothing right now that slows it down. There's no medication that slows it down. You take your medication, and hopefully it helps you to um, show less tremor, to be a little bit more stable. 
Um, so that's helpful. But the one thing that has been proven to slow down the progression of Parkinson's disease is very intense exercise. And there's nothing more intense than spending an hour and a half in a room with a bunch of people with Parkinson's and a great coach that we have. Uh, his name is Zach Guza. Great guy. And beat the heck out of that heavy bag. I mean, it's just um, amazing. In the first half hour we talk and we get warmed up. Second half hour we, we do some more warm up such. And that last half hour we just beat the hell out of that bag. And I tell you, it really helped me lose weight. It helped me put on some muscle at 67 years old. Um, and it helped me have a better outlook. Now there's another part of Parkinson's that is very difficult too, and that's the um, non-motor symptoms. Motor symptoms are things like this tremor that I have that's currently pretty much limited to my left. It's primarily in my left hand and arm. It's a little bit in my right hand. And let me tell you, besides the motorcycles um, thing that I told you about where I was using the screwdriver, I remember playing um, a Vault of Glass and Destiny and doing the raid one night. And the more excited you get, the more you tremor. So it can be a good, fun excitement you know, I'm trying to get across those chasms to get to the other side in the vault of glass. I don't want to let everybody down. And I'm holding on to this controller and I'm going like this. <laughs> but you know what? Doesn't matter because I'm still able to play and I'm still having a gas doing it. So that's the physical side. And, and I'm, there's so many people that are so much worse off than I am. I'm really blessed to uh, have this somewhat limited symptoms of Parkinson's for right now. There are people that have lots of difficulty walking. They have lots of difficulty talking, and um, it's a real challenge for them. So should you ever decide that you want a new charity to do donate some money to, I'd really ask that you throw a few bucks at Michael J. Fox Foundation. Uh, it's a really great place uh, to donate, and I'll put a link in this video. So let's talk about the non-motor symptoms. <sighs> That's the real bear because there's not a lot of things that help with it. Uh, anxiety, fun. Depression, no fun. Um, insomnia, no fun. Uh, clarity of thinking. Some days it's very hard to get motivated. Some days it's very hard to um, just go through things that for me were always easy to do. I sold my business in 2017 because of this. I was fortunate to have a really great uh, business partner who purchased it from me. Uh, but I just couldn't, uh, you know, in meetings, I just wasn't as sharp. So I realized that, that uh, this was uh, not going to be, I wasn't going to be able to retire when I wanted it. It was only a year early that I retired. I was retired at 65 instead of 66. But uh, I felt it was the right thing to do. But I tell you what really has made that difference for me is rock steady boxing. Now, the thing that's really thrown it off key is that uh, COVID-19. In March, after, you know, two plus years of boxing twice a week, uh, suddenly I couldn't go to the gym anymore because we were all afraid of, uh, of giving uh, co or catching COVID or giving it to each other unbeknownst to us. And so we do it online now, but it's just not the same thing. Uh, I do um, some uh, dumbbells, work out with them. I do ring fit on the Nintendo Switch. It's awesome. It'll kick your butt. And I did buy a heavy bag. It's getting cold outside right now, so I'm not doing any heavy bag boxing. Um, but all those things help. And why did I want to tell you about this? Because what I don't want to be, I don't want to make this a huge deal. I mean, for me, it's about the games and the gaming and the experience and the people you get to play with and, and uh, beating that high score and uh, helping your friends that are co-op through a game or Gears of War or, or something on the PlayStation. That's what it's really about for me. It's the, it's the joy of gaming. And I don't want this to get in the way, and I don't want it to be a big thing. But if you, if I, you know, I don't want to hide it either. So if there's times where I stumble on my words, or there's times where you see me doing this, uh, now you'll know what it is. It's Parkinson's disease, but it's not a death sentence. Most people don't die from Parkinson's; they die with it, and I'll die with this, with it. But um, enjoying. The time I have between now and whenever that is, that's what's paramount to me. Um, having fun with this channel uh, here in 2021. It's been a struggle for me to get things going this last year. Uh, I made a lot of false starts. I hope I can get some momentum going and continue the channel content. I hope that you enjoy my channel to content. And I'd love to hear from you and hear your thoughts on what I'm doing, if there's something you'd like me to look at. 
but I want to uh, continue sharing my perspective on games for, for being a gamer as long as I have been and for being the Elder Geek Gamer. And I thank you for joining me today. Peace, stay safe, and we'll catch you next time.